right? So if you're going to try and find the shape of a molecule really quickly, there's some things that can speed it up. I, I made a little chart here for number of bonded atoms. So you'd have a center atom plus a certain number stuck to it. So this would be two atoms stuck to something. Um, and here's the possible shapes. So if it's two atoms bonded, it's either going to be linear in a line or bent. And in parentheses, I wrote the steric number. So if, if you have two bonded atoms and the steric number is two, five, or six, it's going to be a linear shape. If the steric number is three or four, it's going to be bent. And I did put a star here. The bond angles are different for steric number three and steric number four. So even though you're calling them both bent, the shape isn't exactly the same. Uh, if you have three bonded atoms, it's either trigonal planar, trigonal pyramidal, or T-shaped. Steric numbers three, four, or five, and six. Um, four bonded atoms is either tetrahedral, seesaw, or square planar for steric numbers four, five, and six. Uh, steric five bonded atoms is going to give you trigonal bipyramidal or square pyramidal for steric numbers five or six. And bonded atom six is going to be octahedral. We're not going past that. We don't have six bonded atoms and any lone pairs. So you're, you're not worried about that. So to do this quickly, I think you should remember that every atom needs an octet, uh, or at least most do. Atoms need an octet if you're going to have a, have a stable atom. So what we do is we, we keep that in mind. So we have four atoms. If, if you had some, some molecule, I'll, I'll do this with, with actual molecules later. If we had four total atoms, and we counted up the electrons, and there were 26. This is what we do. We say, okay, we got four. That means three atoms are going to be bonded to a central atom. Choose the least electronegative element to be the central atom. So we have three bonded atoms. Three bonded atoms are going to need octets. To have them have an octet, you need eight electrons each, or three times eight. So in parentheses here, I'm just going to write a 24. Okay, that takes care of 24 electrons. That leaves us with two. So we have one lone pair. So we have a steric number of four. If you want to go to your chart until you just can memorize it and think about it, you'd say, all right, steric number four of three bonded atoms. Three bonded atoms, steric number four, trigonal parabola. Then you need to know the bond angles too, so don't forget that. But, all right, we got three atoms. That means we're going to have two atoms bonded to a central atom. Two times, 16, uh, two times eight is 16. 20 minus 16 is four, which is two lone pairs. So two bonded atoms, two lone pairs, that's a steric number of four, and we're looking at bent. This should be maybe, that's not water. Right. Yeah. All right, uh, number of atoms, five. So there's going to be four atoms bonded to a central atom, and four times eight is 32. So that takes up all of them. We don't have any lone pairs, so we have a steric number of four. So steric number four is going to be tetrahedral. Next one, we have six atoms. That should be five atoms bonded to a central atom. Five times eight is 40. That leaves us with two electrons or one lone pair. Steric number six. Steric number six with five bonded atoms. It's going to be a square pyramid. Last one is seven. This one might be obvious. We have six bonded atoms. Six times eight is 48. No lone pairs. Steric number six, that's octahedral. So that's, that's how to quickly do it. Again, this is without any hydrogen. With hydrogen, you just have to remember it doesn't form octets. It's just the two electrons or a duet.